Greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel. As the title suggests, today I'm going to be showing my process for growing cucumbers at home and pickling them in my refrigerator. If you're new to my YouTube channel, Austin, Texas Gardening is, as the name suggests, all about gardening in Austin, Texas. This spring I grew cucumbers and it was super easy. Cucumbers require a lot of water, so I water about every other day, and I wound up getting a nice harvest of both cucumbers and jalapenos. This video is going to be explaining the process for making refrigerator pickles. So if you're looking to can pickles and store them for a long time, you'll need to find another video. The recipe I found online said that refrigerator pickles will expire after a month, but they only take a few days to make. And you don't need a whole bunch of canning tools either. All you need is a container and a few simple ingredients. These pickles turned out great. They had a nice crunch to them. They're great for burgers, sandwiches, and all sorts of things. My journey in growing these cucumbers started with a grow lamp indoors this February. Our growing season typically starts around March, but we had a few late freezes this winter, and that's okay. Cucumbers are pretty hardy, I've noticed, and of course you wouldn't want to plant them before any major freeze, but I planted some of my starters, which I got from HEB here, and also my starters, which I grew indoors, alongside some seeds. By the time April rolled around, I had a few three, four, five inch little seedlings here, and it wasn't long before they began to climb my lattice. We got our first cucumber in May. But the real harvest came about two months later in late June and early July, where we were really getting a ton of these cucumbers. As I mentioned before, cucumbers require a lot of water. And one issue I did face with growing these cucumbers was fungus. Make sure when you're watering, you only water the base of your vines. If you water the leaves, it can cause fungus to spread Thankfully, I only lost about two or three cucumbers to fungus, and I wound up with about eight pounds of cucumbers and jalapenos when I finally harvested everything in a recent July garden tour video. Moving on to our recipe. So, all of the ingredients I used for this you probably already have at home, but I'm gonna run through them here in just a moment. First, I just wanna mention that I cleaned and removed blemishes from my cucumbers and jalapenos, because there were a few blemishes. And the things that I'm using for this recipe are apple cider vinegar, white wine vinegar, sea salt, mustard seed, celery salt, whole allspice, crushed red pepper, sugar, and dill. And so you don't really even need all of these things. The recipe that I'm using is in the description. It called for a couple of additional things that didn't really seem to matter much. The first thing I did was cut my pickles into pickle spears by quartering them and just stuffing them into these jars. The objective here is to fit as many as possible to fill as much volume of the jar so you're using the smallest amount of pickling brine possible. Making this pickle brine was really easy. Essentially, all you're doing is combining all of the ingredients in a saucepan over high heat except the cucumbers. So because I was using eight pounds of cucumbers, I combined eight cups of apple cider vinegar and white wine mixture, eight cups of water, two cups of sugar, and a couple tablespoons of pickling spice and sea salt for high heat. And here I'm just pouring it into my, my jars, my pickle jars. And you can see on this last one, I ran out of pickle brine. And so I wound up just adding in uh, another four cups of water to this. And ironically, this jar turned out great as well. So the ratio of apple cider vinegar and water I think it doesn't matter that much. Honestly, feel free to experiment with this. It's obviously a very cheap experiment and you'll know your results within a couple of days. The recipe I used said to let your pickles sit in the refrigerator for at least three days. We waited a week because we were out of town and these pickles turned out amazing. I don't know if it was the crushed red pepper or the jalapenos, but they had a nice bit of heat to them and they were also uh, really crunchy, like deli pickles. If you're growing cucumbers, I hope this video gives you a creative outlet for using them in meals besides just making salads. Of course, I have more details on growing these cucumbers in my garden tour videos. Feel free to check those out. And once again, thanks for watching Austin, Texas Gardening.